Cold Storage Warehouse, Monday. I saw it. I'm sure. Your corpse, Iris. Right here. But I'm here now. Maybe I'm a ghost. <laughs> you don't look like a floating sheet. You have legs. But maybe they're not legs. Maybe they're my boobs. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I'm not trying to figure out Iris' breath swinging down from there like that. <laughs> oh my god. And then I decided not to. Didn't you say that you saved me in your dream? What did you mean by that? I told you that I'm with an organization called Abyss, right? Yeah, you told me two days ago. We find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call Somnium, a dream world projected by their subconscious. That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? We have a machine that we call the Sync Machine. What is that? It's a Sync Machine. That's not an explanation. Tell me how it works. Well, um... I can explain, but it will require a bit of background to understand. Background? Okay. Um, are we using the background for the for explanation? Put a box on the shelf. Pew pew pew! What the Wait. hell? The box made me think of, like, a giant robot. A what? You know, from kaiju movies. Again, what? <laughs> Why did you think that with the box? Oh my god, this idiot. There's a lot there. Yep, as we established, there's a cardboard box on the floor. That caramel over there looks so good! Yeah, you're right. But if I tried to eat it in one bite, I'd break my jaw. What are you talking about, Date? That's a cardboard box. You start. <sighs> the stupidest conversations ever. A hook is hanging from the ceiling crane. Tis be true, tis be true. No Hi, way. I'm Jemimon! I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> okay. Let's look again. Oh, shelves with boxes! Always with the shelves and the boxes. Never with the shelves and the knock boxes. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, mister. A forklift. The tires of the forklift and on the ground. Uh, they're on a clearly frozen. Okay. A forklift. I don't see anything special about it. A uh, ice cutting machine. Yep, that's it. A switchboard installed on the back of the warehouse. Hey, get out of my house! What the hell? I'm a poltergeist inside the circuit board. What? You said I was a ghost, right? Maybe I'm haunting the warehouse with spooky astral projections. What are you talking about, Iris? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> That's what she's doing. Astral projections. Installed in the back of the warehouse. So my corpse was on here? Yeah. There's nothing on it now. Okay. So I guess we looked at everything here. Let's talk to her again. Iris is standing there. Did you know about the BBB? Okay. I've heard of it. The Blood Brain Barrier, right? What? Inside the school, there's an army of little teeny tiny soldiers that surround the brain. They protect the Whoa. brain from bad stuff in the blood, right? You're all doing That's that? Almost did. Yeah. The Blood Brain Barrier describes the architecture of the micro vessels of the brain. It is a kind of shield that protects the brain. To get through, an object must be no larger than 0.4 nanometers. Oh, dang. Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. Brain, you're so weird. Uh, talking about you and whatnot. Jeez Louise. Oh, you're fascinating too. God dang it. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I would not be able to function, quite literally. Um... Nanotech? Yeah! Technology related to really small things. Like, really teeny tiny things. And when they make the machine, they're called nanomachines. I heard they use them a lot for medical and tech fields. 
Some of the cutting-edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go, beep, beep, beep. That's what Mom said. Well, <laughs> I don't know if it was like, beep, beep, or... Rrr. But anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. Only a few people can even afford it. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology. But he's pretty liberal, so... Largely accurate. Nano is a prefix meaning 10 to the negative ninth power. A nanometer is therefore 0.00000001 meters. The sink machine uses machines approximately 2.16 nanometers long. Viruses are on average 20 to 970 nanometers. So sink nanomachines are far smaller than that. Oh dang. This allows them to access neural circuitry. During a sync, the nanomachines are used to write in the sinker's data. Okay. I guess not. No, I know what it is. It's the core programming behind AI, right? That's right. What's wrong? What? You're shivering. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm? To borrow Pewter's explanation, with the advent of the Wadjet system, we can extract the data of the human psyche. This data is sent to the brain, which achieves the sync. Hmm. Why should get all like that? Okay, you have the basics down. Let me explain how syncing works. Sinkers like me equip the sync gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables. And on the tip of each of these cables is a special nano machine. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. Do you know why? The BBB soldiers say go away and push them back? Well, yeah, kind of. But for the sync to work, we have to get the nano machines into the brain itself. How do we do that? Drill a hole in the skull? No. In Shovel Forge, you can use a pickaxe and... No, it has nothing to do with tools. We don't have to open a hole. Skulls already have holes in them. One of those holes is the optic canal, which is a nerve canal located behind the eyes. The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes, then go to the back of your eye socket, then through the optic canal to the sea. The sea? The sea of brain cells, anyway. That sounds kind of romantic. It's only a chunk of protein. Only a chunk! Once the nano cables arrive at their destination, they can begin the sync process. They slide into the brain like roots of a tree. And on the tip of each cable, the nano machine sends and receives data. This is controlled by the Wadjet system. And that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. Exchange? Think of it this way. The human brain has a max capacity of one psyche, one consciousness. Multiple instances of consciousness inside one brain can cause a total collapse of higher brain functions. You know how a car only has one steering wheel? If there were two, there would be accidents all over the place. Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? Okay, eh, maybe it wasn't the best metaphor. What I'm trying to say is that the human body can only hold one person. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will break. I see. Oof. Because of this, the sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain. And the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sink are their memories. Like a house with no one inside. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. All within six minutes. There's a time limit? Yes, or else the house will collapse in our heads. The neural circuits would become too deeply entwined with one another. To put it simply, the sinker would be trapped inside the subject's house. Thank you for explaining it. I don't completely understand how sync works, but still. Just don't tell anyone. This is extremely confidential. It's okay, I won't. Date. Tell me this. Hmm? Who did you sync with yesterday? Didn't I show you his picture? Congressman Sosajima. 
So that's why you know so much about him. But you've never met him, right? I haven't, I swear. Hey, Date. You saw my corpse here, right? I did. I'm sure of it. And in so stream, you saved me from getting killed. Yeah. And then somehow, I resurrected. Yeah. Hmm. Date, that means you're... Achoo! Date, is the cold too much for Iris? Yeah, I'm freezing too. Iris, let's get out of here for now. Roger that! What was she trying to say? Ah! Uh. Go to marbles. This is the last little bit. This is the last thing. Okie dokie. Marble blarble. Dang, with the way things are going, I don't think we're gonna actually do a, a Sominion today. Hey, Mama, it's me. Dante, honey, what's up? I'm heading over now. Glad to hear it. Maybe I'll close the place a little early for you. Ooh. Sorry, but I'm with someone. With someone? A girl named Iris. What? Is she a virgin? <laughs> huh? I'm not gonna answer that. Anyway, remember what we talked about? There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. They should be here tonight. Oh, right. Are they coming tonight? Yes, I promise. All right, then I'll see you there. Okay, I'll be here. How are you talking on your phone without earphones? I was too lazy to explain it properly. So I came up with a lie. I have an earpiece implanted in my ear. Wow, cool! Another call came in. Date, it's the boss. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, Date, tell me the situation. Did you find number 89? If I did, I would have told you. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> what was that about? That was a cry from deep within my heart, Date. Do you realize how screwed I am? Oh no. Go find number 89. If I find Renju, I find number 89. I'm gathering information on Renju's whereabouts now. Where? I told her I was going to marble with Iris. And about who I was expecting to see there. Wait, are you trying to get her drunk? She's not 21. And if she wasn't a minor? Hmm? Well, whatever. I'm sure you have a good plan. Find those two and arrest them. Got it? I guess we gotta go do that. We're gonna find people and arrest them. You so know how I'm saying. Oi! Oi! Golden uh, Yoko Cho. Uh, Monday, 10.07 p.m. So this is Golden Yokocho. First time here? Yeah. Marble is right over here. Date, on your six. Two suspicious individuals approaching. Oh, dang. Dante! Oh, what was this all about? Stay right there. Okay. What the heck? Why do they have guns? Who are they? We can find them. 
find out later. We need a way out of this. Yeah, but... I grab virus and try to run. I will be shot full of holes. The alleys between the buildings are blocked off, so we can't go that way. Which means... Shit! We gotta take care of them! I have reached the same conclusion. I've only got a single revolver. What is that? Oh? What are we doing now? We brain blasting up in here? Jimmy Neutron on this bitch? Dante, I have a plan. I will give you instructions. Just move as I tell you. This better work. Not to worry. My calculations are flawless. All right, good job, Iba. What's the plan? You see that hanger over there? Shoot the bottom of the hanger with a normal bullet. Why? Don't ask questions, just do it! <sighs> the bottom of the hanger? Okay, is this... There we go. Okay, got it, right? Oh! <laughs> Are you for real? Look at that! Like a gift from heaven! Oh my god! What is with them? Are they stupid? Just as I cut them. Calculations did you do? <laughs> Dante, focus. Okay, what's the next thing that we gotta be aiming now, for? The burst shot. Shoot the porto mag vending machine. Porto mag vending machine. <laughs> I said no questions. Hurry! Shoot the vending machine with the burst. We say burst? Okay. This is weird. We're switching. Okay. Oh my god. Oh god. There we go. Got it. Ooh! That was hard. This is. Oh my this God! They're all crazy. Wet heads. I've never seen anything like this before. They're seriously dropping everything for porn. Yeah, they must be stupid. That. <laughs> you are too. What? The final step. But you don't have to do it then. Hello? Mama? There's a group of naked buff guys dancing outside your bar. There's... <laughs> what? Don't use my voice without permission. This is an emergency! I will slap you if you don't shut up! <laughs> now, we're ready. We just need to use the fire extinguisher. It's loaded with high pressure CO2. Now, I will leave your eye and throw the fire extinguisher into the air. Shoot the huh? top of the extinguisher at the perfect time. Now let's go! <laughs> this looks so cute. Oh my god. How are you able to lift that? You're a little thing! Ready? Here I go! Oh jeez, I gotta pull this up, aren't I? Uh, ah! Oh jeez. 
Oh god! Come on, come on! There we go, got it! Whew! My calculations. <laughs> I love it. This is this is too it's too wacky. It's fantastic. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Data resonance. Monday, ten fifty two PM. This is... My place. The building's got a security system. We'll be safe here. So Mizuki's not home? Doesn't look like it. I checked her phone's GPS. Mizuki is currently at Sunfish Pocket. It's getting late, but Sunfish, pack, uh, for Sunfish Pocket should be safe. I'm sure the mermaids are taking good care of her. If anything, she'd be in more danger with us. Iris, I need to talk to you about earlier. Have a seat wherever. Okay, bench press. That's all it was, okay. Large window. Big window. It's big, it's large. <clears throat> it's there. Rack. Rack, come on. A clothes, my clothes and Mizuki's clothes hanging on the rack. Good for us. There's a three-seated sofa in the center of the room. A coffee table full of non-coffee things. Mizuki's bed. The entrance. My refrigerator. Oh, it's a pot. Uh, seasoning and cooking sake. Okay. A cushion on the sofa. An oven hood? Okay, I don't think we got that last time, but it should be fine. It's at a rabbit. A stuffed rabbit. I gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. Large speakers. Audio equipment for the audio file. Uh, that's all that really is. Okay. A small filing cabinet. I keep a bunch of documents there. There's a corkboard on the wall. Full of cork stuff. Okay. Can we not see anything else? A desk. A PC. A one-seated sofa. <laughs> okay. A rug. Okay, it, it was just all explaining the things that were there. Iris is sitting down. Iris, those guys who tried to kidnap you, do you have any idea who they were? After a long silence, Iris spoke. There's a reason I asked you to go on a date so many times. I wanted you to protect me. I wanted a bodyguard. But I thought that if I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't tell you. But now, I'll come clean. My life is being threatened by a secret society. What? They're called the Nizet Laws. A group under the control of the Wajet system. Their <gasps> ultimate goal is to complete X00639. I discovered them and what they were up to, and now... Oh, dang. Date, please help me! They're going to kill me! Wait, wait. Slow down. Yeah. What? It's spelled N-A-I-X-A-T-L-O-Z. Sometimes they just call themselves the Nice. They're deeply connected to the Wajet system. Their organization is everywhere. International politics, 
business leaders, all operating in secret. Oh, dang. That would explain, uh, So's involvement. Well, you know about the Wajet system, right? It's the core of artificial intelligence. Do you know where it came from? It was developed by the American tech conglomerate, Elgorg. But no specifics have been revealed. Basically, the Wajet system artificial intelligence is from outer space. Oh, dang. It was transmitted to Earth in binary, as radio waves. Oh, they dang. were caught by the space dev team at Elgorg. And when they decoded it, they found that it was a truly incredible source code. That's the code they used to create the Wajet system. Is this true, Iva? It is patently ridiculous. Nah, I believe it to be true in this world at the very least. It makes sense. In geosynchronous orbit around the equator, longitude 100 degrees east, there's a satellite. It's about 150 feet long. Quite big for a satellite. True. Most satellites are between 5 and 10 feet long. The International Space Station is roughly 330 feet long, so this satellite she is describing is about half as big. It's always in the same place, and there's no doubt that it's man-made. But by who? And when it was launched, no one knows. Also true. The first to discover this satellite was a space advocacy group in Japan. It was on the news for a short while. No one could identify it precisely. Most people thought it was some secret U.S. military satellite and that was it. But that's not the truth. X00639 is a super-powered radio transmitter. Radio? Transmitter? But it's not complete. It's still being built. And that's what they're trying to do. That's what Wajet wants them to do. What? So to summarize Iris's story, the Wajet system AI was built by decoding radio waves sent from outer space. A secret organization called uh, Noxalots, or Nox, knows the secret of the Wajet system and obeys it, its will. Their ultimate goal is to complete the radio transmitter satellite, X006396639. Uh, Let's say that one day Wajet shows up on your computer screen. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Wanna help us out? Do you really think humans would help? Most people would probably think their PC has a virus or something. Or they'd panic and try to remove them. I don't know what would happen. I'm sure Wajet made their own predictions. And they thought it was best to control certain parts of humanity from behind the scenes. But they needed some kind of direct influence. They can't build a satellite by themselves, right? That's why they created Nizet Laws. Nizet and Wajet have a mutually beneficial relationship. Wajet can control stock prices. Nice benefits from that. In return, Nice helps Wajet's ultimate goal. That's why Nice is in militaries and corporations all over the world to help build X00639. I managed to learn that too. They're building X00639 so they can transmit their own data to a planet far away. If they contact a sentient species, then the process will repeat itself again. That species will decode the signal, create an AI, then builds a radio transmitter. Because they're an AI, they can create copies of themselves for transmission. Doing this over and over means that Wajet will eventually spread across the universe. And after that? After that? Yeah. After they're spread all over space, what do they do next? I don't know. You don't know? Well, why do humans have children? It's the same thing. Wajet is alive. They want to spread across the universe. That's their destiny. Hmm. All right, I get it. You do? 
Not really, but she doesn't need to know that. Hmm. But listening to your explanation, Nyes doesn't sound like a bad organization. No, that's not true. Think of how much money and resources are going to Nyes. Think of how many people are suffering in poverty. And all the wars happening across the planet. And human trafficking and slavery. Nice has the power and resources to put an end to all of that. But they don't. They only care about themselves. And they'll do anything to protect their own interests. They'll kill if they have to. Which is why I'm being targeted. Because I found out their secret. Oof. Dang, this like went to like a full-on government conspiracy situation. Well, I can't say yet. But it's true, believe me! Nice is dangerous! You have to understand, Date! You... you saw my dead body! Oh dang, so this is like a real thing? Do you think that you were killed by Nice in the parallel world? Yes, I think so. You're the only person I can trust. Please, don't leave me. You have to protect me. Oh my god. Think. Ash's story is... Well, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't believe a word of it. But it is true that we were almost kidnapped uh, by some mysterious group. It was true that I saw her dead body in the cold storage warehouse. And if that happened in a parallel world... Date, you can't tell me that you actually believe this. Iba, you use the Wadjet system too, right? So what if I do? Do you suspect me, Date? Do you think I'm an agent of Nice? Fine. This can be solved easily. Why not look into her mind? Then you will discover if her story is true or not. A sink, of course. Iris looks serious. Oh dang, dude, oh dang. Alright, time to go sinking. This is like I did not expect this to happen that we're we're going from like like hey here's a murder that happened to hey AI gone rogue as controlling the government. <laughs> this is just weird, man. Really can't take her there. His boss will be waiting. The men who attacked us at Golden Yokocho were waiting for us. That means they knew we were coming. Why would that be? Someone tipped them off. Well, who could have? Someone who knew we were going to Marvel. The boss? That's right. No. It couldn't be. Boss. Impossible. Hmm? Iba, can you contact Pewter? I want to ask him something. Oh, Understood. dang. I was suspecting that there might be some trouble with the boss with this. Oh, Dante. Do you need something? Pewter, where's boss right now? Not sure. I don't think she's at Abyss anymore. Maybe she went home? Okay, that's good. Can't talk to her. Center console. Dash. Dun dun. Rampa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please tell me there's a 999 reference. Dangan Rampa. It's Pewter. That's him. Where are you? I'm out drinking in Shinjuku. I was actually thinking of heading over to Golden Yokocho, but I heard something about a shootout. So the cops have it sealed off. Maybe a shootout between gangs or something? The world has become a dangerous place. 
Computer, I need to know something. Does a sync machine exist outside of Abyss? It does. I won't have to go to Abyss. I could just go there and sync with Iris. I thought Peter might know, but... There's only one sync machine in the entire world, and it's with us in Abyss. For now, anyway. For now? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. Stolen? Yes. It was being transported when it was attacked and then stolen by an armed group of men. The culprit is still on the loose. The device was never recovered either. Iba, were you aware of this? No. This is new information. I was not even aware there was a prototype. So, neither you or Boss are at Abyss right now? No. Good. I could take Iris there without a problem. Thanks, Peter. See you later. Sure thing. Back to you. where are we going? Inside your dreams. What? I'm gonna sync with you. To determine if what you were telling me is true. And if it is true, I'll fulfill your wish. My wish? You don't remember? To become your bodyguard. Is that all right? Yes, of course! God dang, this is it's just it keeps going, man. It keeps going. All kinds of weird, man. All kinds of how do you do? Police headquarters, Monday, eleven forty seven PM. Just like Peter said, boss wasn't there. Iba knew exactly how to use the device. I followed her directions on the control console and prepared the machine quickly. Date, this time I will be remotely operating the sink. Roger that. Are you ready? Yes. The time limit is six minutes, as always. I know. All right. Let us begin. Watch. Here we go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Here we go. 